I'm here with Michael Copon. Thank you for uh, joining yep. me. Thank you. Um, let's start with Power Rangers Time Force. You were the Blue Ranger. Mm -hmm. What do you think your show kind of, pay, how did it pay tribute to the original series while also kind of creating something new? Well, I like that you asked that question. I haven't been asked that before. Um, actually, it's weird you say that because I think it paid the most tribute to the original because the suits were as simple as you can get as to the Mighty Morphin's original suits. Because mm -hmm. uh, over the years they changed them up, and especially with the pirate one this year, or not this year, it's a few years ago now. But you know, they, they change and nothing always looks as close to the original. So I think that paid the most tribute to that. Um, and how it was different, it was probably one of the most uh, adult storylines. I mean, already, uh, I mean, spoiler going on here, but uh, in the first episode you got uh, a ranger dying and a bad guy killing a ranger, that's never happened in any ranger uh, history. So that was a huge thing. And Rancic, our bad guy, Vernon Wells, I mean, Mad Max, I mean, we probably have one of the best bad guys you can get. So it was really cool. It was really cool. Now let's go to One Tree Hill. You had a good little run there. Yeah. Uh, kind of had a cocky vibe. Yeah. Uh, did you did you steal from anyone? Did you look to any character from past films or to anyone in your personal life to, to build that character? Yeah, actually, uh, I love that you asked that question too. Uh, I used uh, Vince Vaughn from Swingers. Uh, you know, he was like, "Hey, baby, baby, come on, let me." You know, he's just he's just like a jerk, but you can't hate him. Yeah. Like that's that's the approach I was trying to go at is like trying to be walking the line of edgy, bad, and jerkish, but something about that smile of the character and his his playfulness that makes you kind of love them and root for them at the same time. So I think that's how you have to keep it when you're playing a, a bad character. Don't don't play it so objective, you know. Uh, so yeah, that's how I that's how I uh, made that character. You can't not like Vince Vaughn. Yeah, that's what you can't. Yeah, you can't like you can't hate on him. He's just a, he's just a funny guy. So let's go to uh, Scorpion King two. Again, how do you kind of get in the mindset of that? You're following The Rock, one of the kind of the greatest wrestlers and big personalities in the business. How do you kind of put your own spin on it? Well, uh, I, I, this is funny you asked that because growing up I wanted to be a wrestler. I was going to be called the Supreme Philippine <laughs> and I had my outfit picked out, my finishing move and everything. And I grew up watching The Rock and I used to imitate him. You know what I'm going to do, Stone Cold Steve Austin? I tell you what I'm going to do. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. So I'd be like, imitate him, right? And uh, then I, I met him at a restaurant called Casa Vega. I said, uh, hey, hey, Rock, I'm going to play your son one day in the movie. He's like, oh, yeah? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to play your son. He's like, OK, good luck with that. And then years later, I became the prequel of him, which was really cool for me. And uh, that's why I always call myself the pebble. Um, but yeah, I took a different spin on the character. I, I kind of went more the serious route of that film, not so campy comedy. Uh, just just because I felt like maybe that's what the film needed. Uh, so it was a little different energy to it. Uh, like I said, I took a, I imitated him, but added myself into the character as well. So yeah. Nice. Now let's go to my favorite question. What's one of your favorite films? My, my favorite film actually is uh, Braveheart. Um, only because it has everything, it talks about almost every topic and has everything that can fill those voids that you're looking for. Love, passion, uh, every emotion from anger to sadness to passion. It, it, like, there's, there's action, there's comedy, there's everything in that film. And I just think that Mel Gibson did an incredible job uh, talk, taking a such, such a uh, graphic, horrific time in history and bringing light into it. The music was amazing. Um, I mean, most people hate bagpipes when you're just walking around the streets. But something about that film, the way the music was scored, it was just made the sounds just so beautiful. It really brought out the bagpipe sound. And, uh, acting was just amazing. Everyone in that film was just spot on. And uh, it was just an incredible film from A to Z. And a rare kilt flash that you don't see in movies very often. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much for this. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.